Ed Mealyband won't back down on tax avoidance campaign. Ed Mealyband will promise not to back down in his campaign against tax avoidance when he speaks to the Welsh Labour Conference on Saturday. The Labour leader is expected to say the rich should play by the same rules as the poor, and that David Cameron is turning a blind eye to the issue. He will promise fresh penalties and the closing of tax avoidance loopholes. Meanwhile Welsh First Minister Carwin Jones hailed Labour's record in power in Wales as proof of what it can do. The row over tax avoidance erupted over allegations published earlier this week that the British bank HSBC had helped wealthy clients avoid or evade tax through its Swiss private banking arm. A list of political donors who had bank accounts with HSBC's private Swiss banking arm, including some who had given money to the Labour Party, was published by The Guardian and the BBC's Panorama. At Prime Minister's questions on Wednesday, Mr. Mealyband accused David Cameron of being a dodgy Prime Minister surrounded by dodgy donors, and then became embroiled in a row with former Conservative Party Treasurer Lord Fink over his tax affairs. Lord Fink accused the Labour leader of making defamatory comments and threatened to take legal action, although he later withdrew the threat. Tax Avoidance Scourge On Friday, the Daily Mail questioned Mr. Miliband's own tax affairs, alleging that a deed which split ownership of his parents' former home after his father's death could be used to cut inheritance tax liabilities. Labor dismissed the story as a straightforward lie. Continue reading the main story. Start quote. It is about about our economy, our society, and the kind of country we want to live in. Ed Mealyband. Mr. Mealyband will highlight the clash with Lord Fink, and also an earlier one with Boots boss Stefano Pessina, as a sign of his intent. Two weeks ago, the British people were being told how to vote by a billionaire who doesn't even pay tax in the United Kingdom and has moved the HQ of his company, Boots, from Nottingham to Switzerland, he will say. Last weekend, I promised the next Labour government would tackle the scourge of tax avoidance, setting a six-month deadline for tax havens operating in UK overseas territories and Crown dependencies to open up their books or face being blacklisted. This week, there were a series of revelations over industrial-scale tax avoidance at HSBC in Switzerland which this government had known about even when it appointed its chairman as a trade minister. Political Knockabout and then just on Thursday the man appointed to be treasurer of the Conservative Party first threatened to sue me for saying he was a tax avoider then announced that everyone is a tax avoider and he was just guilty of vanilla tax avoidance. Mr. Mealyband will say the issue has turned into Westminster games of political knockabout. It is about something bigger and deeper about our economy, our society, and the kind of country we want to live in. In Britain today we risk having one rule for the rich and powerful and another for everybody else. When a few people are able to avoid paying their fair share, it threatens the fabric of the society on which we depend. He will say the government has turned a blind eye to tax avoidance because it thinks that so long as a few at the top do well, the country succeeds.